Okay, welcome to video two of our MEEP released items. Let's get right to it. We're going to start with question eight. Study the table below. Which atom has a net positive charge? Uh, net meaning total. Uh, so the total charge is a positive one. And we have four pretend atoms um, and the number of protons. Protons are positive. Neutrons are no charge, so we can ignore all of these. Um, number of electrons, electrons are negative. So when we take it, take a look at the table, we have an example here where we have three protons and three electrons. So that's three positives, three negatives, and that adds up to zero. 53 positives, 53 negatives, and that also adds up to zero. 55 positives, 54 negatives. So when you add that together, that leaves us with a net positive charge, a positive one. Um, and then checking this one too, uh, one proton, one electron, and gives us a total of zero. So the correct answer would be atom Y, which, be, which would be choice C. Alright, number nine. Which of the following choices best explains why grass on a distant hillside appears to be green? Well, meat Meep does this thing where they give you they give you all this extra information that are that's totally unnecessary. Um, green, grass on a hillside, grass under your feet is green, no matter what. So um, uh, be careful how you read. All this question really is asking is why is why do we see grass as being green? And the the, the reason we see it is because now here's the tricky part. I'm going to try to draw an eye here. All right, that's an eye. Ooh, okay. That's a. All right, we'll leave it at that. That's an eye. Trust me. Use your imagination. Here's uh, grass, and pretend that that's green. Okay. And then here's light. All right. Here's our sun. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a sun. All right. So the light hits the grass and the grass absorbs all the colors that the light gives and it reflects back the color green and it reflects it to the eye and that's why we see green um, if you're wearing a red shirt the shirt absorbs all the colors that light um, shines on it and then it will reflect the color red and when the, the reflection hits your eye you see the color red so the best answer uh, for number nine would be letter C. Grass reflects green light more than any other color. All right, moving on. Um, which of these is a benefit of using nuclear energy? And I know you've probably studied nuclear energy, but maybe not um, the specific concepts or ideas in these choices. A, nuclear byproducts are useful for further energy production byproducts well byproducts is nuclear waste and nuclear waste is kind of a, a dangerous thing and that's kind of the the big debate about using nuclear energy what do we do with all this dangerous waste so it's not a benefit so we're gonna cross a out B nuclear fuel supplies uh, nuclear fuel supplies are extremely abundant on earth well the reason we use coal and oil is because it's very abundant, pretty much easy to get to. Uh, nuclear fuel is made from an element called uranium, which isn't nearly as abundant as coal and oil, so no. Um, let us see. Nuclear power is much less expensive to produce than other energy sources. Well, that's a no, too, because the cost of making a nuclear power plant is uh, pretty pricey. Um, because you have to keep the reactor cool and it's a, it's a very technical um, process, it's dangerous and you really have to make sure that it's safe. So nucle nuclear power plants are pretty pricey to make. So our only alternative here is D. Nuclear power plants normally release fewer pollutants into the air. That's the big thing about nuclear plant power and uh, the negatives about burning fossil fuels are the combustion of coal and oil. Combustion, of course, means burning. So, correct answer, D, nuclear power plants uh, 
release fewer pollution and f fewer pollutants into the air. All right, we're going to stop here at minute five, and um, and hopefully we'll see you at uh, video three. Thanks for watching.